Oh, I started 10.37. People already clicked away. Actually, in the first few seconds. I'm not kidding. I don't know why they do that. Oh, maybe they clicked on the wrong video. Nothing's happening. Anyway, First Samuel, chapter 29, Achish, A C H. I S H sends David back to Zik 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 Leg Z I K L A G. The Philistines gathered all of their forces at Apka, A P H E K, and Israel camped in the springs of Jezreel, J E Z R E E L. The Philistines ruler. As the Philistines ruler was marched with their units of hundreds and thousands, David and his men were marching at the rear with Ash Ash. Seems like David's going to do it. He's going to go to war with Israel. Against his own people. Hmm. The commanders of the Philistines asked. What about this he Hebrew? Etchus replied, Is this not David who was an officer of Saul, king of David? He has already been with me for over a year, and from the day he left Saul until now, I have found no fault in him. Like, of course, the Philistines are like, wait a second, <laughs> even if it's like a commander for a song, it's like, no, no, dude, guys, he's fine, he's fine, guys. I gave him a city, he's, he's on our side. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they would have every right to be a little suspicious, but the Philistines' commanders were angry with Atshish and said, send the man back that he may... Return to the place you assigned him. He must not go to uh, with us into battle, or he will turn against us during the fight. During the fighting, how do you know? How better could he re regain his master's favor? They assume Saul sent him away. Saul wants him dead. They don't know that Saul wants him dead. There is no way to regain his favor. Saul just wants him dead. <laughs> then, by taking the heads of our own man, men, isn't this this David they sung about in their dances? Saul has slain his thousands, and David's his tens of thousands? So, Etshish called David and said to him, As surely as the Lord lives, you have been reliable, and I would... Be pleased to have you serve with me in the army from the day you came to me until today I have found no fault in you, but the rulers do not but the rulers don't approve of you. Now turn back and go in peace. Do nothing to displease the Philistine rulers. But what have I done? David asked. What have you found against your servant from the day I came to you until now? Why can't I go and fight against the enemies of my lord the king? Even it's referring to this guy as his king and Israel as his enemies. From the look of it, from the, what it sounds like, David's ready to go do it. Betray Israel. Fight against his own people. For their enemies. Interesting. Etchish answered, I know that you have been as pleasing in my eyes 
as an angel of God. Nevertheless, the Philistine commanders have said, You must not go up with us into battle. Now get up early, along with your master's servants who have come with you, and leave in the morning as soon as it is light. So David and his men got up early in the morning to go back to the land of the Philistines, and the Philistines went up to Jezreel. I imagine if David... Okay, just imagine if David did go with the Philistines into battle. They could have killed Saul and just... Actually, yeah. They could have killed Saul and defeated him. Defeat Israel. David could become like a... King, put David in his place and then have be like allies but no the Philistines want it they want that I mean I don't know why how would it hmm how would the Philistines in a uh, Philistine Israeli alliance go Philistine, Philistine, Phil, 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 Palestine. Anyway, it's ten forty-three.